Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, my name is Ali Asghar. In this, uh, in this lecture, we will discuss general liability portion of CSS paper 2017. We follow uh, question paper step by step and question by question in a very easy way, in very easy approach so that maximum number of uh, aspirants can understand. Uh, question number one, uh, question number 6a, it says differentiate between uh, pictogram and histogram, right? Pictogram and histogram have these differences. One, this is simplest form and this is also simple and most common uh, form of data visualization. Both are used for data visualization, means on both graphs we show data. Okay, and this pictogram uses icons, icons or pictures to represent the data. And this histogram uses vertical bars, which are contiguous. Contiguous means uh, adjacent to each other. X at, okay, um, in vertical bars. Okay, and pictogram uses single line, means it uses lines on which icons or pictures are arranged okay and here in histogram various sites of uh, uh, heights representing the frequencies are used okay for example in pictogram how we represent a pictogram this is data of some years and uh, number of employees okay and let's see first we draw these lines and then years okay and we write here scale scale means uh, we write the uh, the value of this icon this icon or this picture that's equal to 1000 implies okay 1950 2000 implies okay so we write here two icons means 1000 for each we write here two for both and uh, for 1955 near about 3000 we write here three pictures 19 1960 5000 near 5000 we write five pictures okay 1965 similarly we write here six pictures because it's very near to the 6000 and similarly histogram shows us these bars these are the number of hours means in the data i have taken this data from the upcoming question and this is the frequency here we write frequency and here we write the uh, number of x's are the variable on which we talk okay and these heights show the frequency of frequency of each and every uh, class means uh, you will learn this in uh, uh, upcoming question okay this is question b question 6b to uh, css 2007 it says in its it is asked to, uh, the data is given the teachers of a certain school were asked to indicate the average number of hours they spend on making students assignments each day the following data set of uh, uh, teachers obtained this and uh, this is set of data okay uh, construct a frequency table and a draw a store histogram illustrate, illustrating the result the results okay solution uh, the procedure for the table is in this way first we write the hours okay means uh, that's the main uh, this data is of the hours which teacher is spend on assignments okay one two three four five maximum hour are six right we write and we count them and write in tally Tally means these lines, these after these type of lines. One is how many times? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and six. One, two, three, four, five. We write five for one. One is five times, so we write five for one. One, two, three, four, and the five. Five lines for one. And two is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight times. So we write these eight lines for two. And three is one, two, three, four, five, six times. So we written six, six lines 
this tally for 3 and 4 is 4 times so we write 4 1 2 3 4 and 5 is 5 is 2 times so we written 2 for 5 and 6 is 1 time only right now we write the frequency of each and every hour 1 is 5 time 2 is 8 time 3 is 6 time 4 is 4 time 5 is 2 time it means the frequency of 5 is 2 and frequency of 6 is 1 okay this is known as uh, frequency table okay we have written frequency table here now it says draw a histogram okay uh, the procedure for drawing histogram is uh, is in this way first we draw these two lines uh, vertical line and, and horizontal line this horizontal line is known as x axis and this vertical line is known as y axis we write here uh, on x axis we write the number of hours and on y axis we write frequency frequency of these hours okay so let's write here we write frequency and here we write number of hours okay let's put values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is frequency and this is number of hours number of hours are 6 from 1 to 6 now we draw the vertical bar bars the height of the bar will show the frequency for the frequency of 1 uh, is 5 and frequency of 2 is 8 and similarly frequency of 4 3 is 6 frequency of 4 is 4 frequency of 5 is 2 okay similarly frequency of 1 is 1 in this way we draw the graph so you can use pencils and scales uh, scale or scale to uh, use to make this draw this graph okay and question number c question number 6c uh, it says that how many teachers responded to the survey 26 teachers responded to survey you can see Uh, you can see here how many teachers are here 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 25 26 26 teachers responded to the survey 26 teachers responded to the survey and d says what the longest number of hours and the most common number of hours is spent longest uh, longest number of hours is six okay you can see from the question longest number of hours is six means the highest value okay and most common number means which is most frequent who has high frequency the number which has high frequency that is two two hour is highly frequent because it is eight times okay you can see from the graph two that the more the most higher frequency means highest frequency is of two okay thank you for watching and you can see my next video on question seven and eight uh, seven eight eight of cs is 2007 thank you allah face